Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the electronic control on your range. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver or a number one square hitch screwdriver. We'll also need a number two Phillips screwdriver, maybe a pair of needle nose pliers, and a very thin blade putty knife. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to disconnect power to the range. Simply unplug it. We'll also need access to the back of the range, so we'll need to pull it forward enough that we can access the back. Now that we have access to the back of the range, we're next going to remove this upper back panel. It's held in place with four screws. So we'll just take those out using either your quarter inch nut driver or the number one square head. And then just set that aside. Now with the back panel removed, we now have access to the electronic control. And our first step will be to remove the wires from that control. So take note of the color and the designated spot that they are attached to. And they'll be marked either bake, broil, line one, and so on. So using our needle nose pliers, we're just gonna pull those off. Grasp just the terminal. Next, pull the large connector off the control. And then with our Phillips screwdriver, we'll remove the four screws that secure it to the mounting brackets. We'll remove the clock from the mounting brackets and then we're going to remove that membrane switch from the front of the old control and attach it to the new one. Now with the control on a suitable work surface we're next going to peel this mylar film off of the body of the old control. So very carefully take a very thin putty knife and go in between that film and the body just break that bond and just go along both sides And then carefully peel it off the old control and discard the old control. So then we'll take our new control and then we're going to carefully line up that film. And lay it onto the new control and press it into place. There should be enough adhesive left on there to hold that. But if not, you can use a very thin two-faced tape to hold it in place. Also note that there may be a difference in how the terminals are labeled on the new control versus the old one. So just make sure that they, when you reattach the wires that you 
attach them to the terminals as they are labeled, not as they are necessarily in line. Now we can put that control back on the range. So we'll just line up the new control with the mounting bracket, and then hold it in place while we attach the screw. Install the remainder of them. Now next we can attach the wires back to the terminals on the control. Again, making sure that we have the wires attached to the proper terminals. And your model may have a larger terminal on that one wire. It should still fit on nice and snug. And if any of these wires are a bit loose, just take your needle nose pliers and gently crimp the end of that terminal. You need to make sure that they all fit on nice and snug. And next, we'll reattach the large wire harness connector. Make sure it's on nice and firm. And then we can put the back panel on. So when installing the back panel, we need to make sure that we have these tabs across the top and underneath the lip of the console. And then just line up that center screw and tighten that enough to hold the panel in place. And then put the remainder of the screws in. And now we can push the range back to the wall. We're now ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete.